Okay, well if you compare it to where it was this morning, there's still a little bit of dry land at the Chevron. And you can see, it's about where it was on the church sign. Let's see if I can get a little closer. And of course they're doing their best to get everybody out of these apartments down here and the homes and so you got boats going back and forth dropping people hit the chevron anyway not good okay this is at the end of our uh, detention pond and you kind of see that it, it is pretty stagnant you got some ripples but I think most of that is just from the um, the wind but here you go this is the apartment building Chevron is just on the other side of these apartments and businesses here's our retention pond I showed you guys this photo earlier and you can see our pumping equipment has completely stopped and the pond itself is all the way up to the trash line from yesterday okay well here we're back down at this road and that is Kingsland they still got boats running up and down it uh, if you recall we were able to go considerably further down the road that guy's gate probably gone up another maybe oh, hang on maybe four or five inches on his gate on his house I can't see the other house anymore I mean we were able to get up closer to see it last time but now we're standing in the water so you can just see the portion of his and you can see as we look at this the water has moved up considerably. We're now past the second cactus, so it's it's definitely dropped down. And if we look over here, uh, this guy's yard is still flooded, uh, but it's still I think he's still good. It doesn't look like it's gone into his house as of yet.